All right, well, those are awesome moments. Um, our next, uh, oh, I'm sorry, Brett. Well, you're our next okay. item, are you not? The STEM. I'll just stay if that's <laughs> Perfect. Uh, Brett Stark, Director of, Director of Curriculum um, on STEM Innovation Schools uh, presentation. Okay, so this is a new recognition for our schools um, this year. I'm going to briefly give you some background information regarding this recognition. Um, two schools will be receiving this, and in a minute I'll call the representatives up to receive this award. Um, this started as a result of a governor's task force in 2009, um, the science, technology, engineering, and math task force. Um, and, and basically, they released an action plan. The action plan was titled, Investing in STEM to Secure Maryland's Future. The report contains seven recommendations aimed at establishing Maryland as a global leader in the development of its workforce and its STEM-based research. The seventh recommendation of this plan was to create a STEM innovative network to make STEM resources available to all students. Later on, the Maryland Business Roundtable for Education co-chaired the development of the governor's STEM plan for Maryland. To fulfill the seventh recommendation from the governor's plan, the team created a STEM innovative network. They're calling this network STEMnet, and so I'll tell you a little bit about what STEMnet is about. STEMnet is an online platform that pulls together in one location the people, resources, tools, and services teachers and students may access to strengthen teaching and learning in science, technology, engineering, and math. On November 7th of this school year, 49 Maryland high schools were designated as STEM innovation schools representing every Maryland school district. So here in Frederick County, the schools that we're going to recognize that are going to be designated as the STEM innovation schools are Governor Thomas Johnson High School and Walkersville High School. So at this time, I'd like to call them up um, to receive their, um, their certificate. I'd like to just briefly show you what's on the certificate. Um, it says, this is to certify that Walkersville High School has been designated as a STEM Innovation School in Maryland 2013-2014, recognized for its commitment to ensuring that teachers and students are provided with the tools, resources, and services to strengthen teaching and learning in science, technology, engineering, and math, and for its leadership and participation in the inaugural launch of Maryland's STEM Innovation Network. So this STEM net that they're calling it, what this is going to do, it's basically going to provide access for teachers and students to scientists throughout Maryland. And so what these scientists will do is they're going to come into the classroom and co-teach lessons with our teachers. It's also going to provide a network, if you will, of resources and materials for teachers and students that this STEM team has created. And that's kind of it in its simplest form. They get year-round access to, the, to these scientists and to these resources. So really, it's just a fantastic opportunity, another great opportunity to support STEM in the high schools. Um, would you like to come back down and present, present the those? awards? Oh, yes. I'm sorry. Um, we have some questions for you, sure. if that's OK. And this is um, signed by um, Martin O'Malley, Lillian Lowry, and the uh, Maryland Business Roundtable Board of Directors. Very nice. Mrs. Groth? Yeah, my question is, um, we have 10 high schools in Frederick County, and they're all excellent. And we have two that have been singled out, and that's wonderful. And I couldn't be prouder of the two schools. What about the other schools that don't have this special access? Is there some way that that can be shared at some point? It's a good question. Um, they, my understanding is that only two schools um, were allowed to receive the award. So um, based on who applied um, and the criteria, these are the two that were selected. Um, I know that there were other schools that were interested, and so perhaps this will expand and we could recognize some other schools in the future. Yeah, I just feel it's important to mention the equity aspect because it's wonderful to receive awards, but when, when the awards are so well endowed with services and special opportunities and materials and personnel uh, contact and all, 
it, it is one of the things I, I'm concerned about when we can only <coughs> offer that to two schools and students in two schools. I, and, and I'm not going to criticize the oh, wonderful sure. work that was done for these folks. And believe me, Walkersville and TJ folks, I don't mean anything by that in a negative way. It's just that I, I am concerned and would, would usually bring up something about this if it's an equity issue in my, in my view. Sure. Thank you for just hearing me out. <laughs> <laughs> Happy to. It's sort of like my styrofoam thing, you know? Yeah. Okay. Are there any other comments? Great. Thank you. Um, so from uh, Walkersville High School, we have Jim Thurman. And um, Jet Reed, if you'd like to come down for TJ High School. Yeah, yeah, stay up. I can take one with my iPhone. May I real quick? Yeah, absolutely, Jet. Accepting for TJ will be Miss Vivian Warner, one of our STEM teachers, and Miss Carly Strout. We had quite a team that worked on that application. After or like halfway through the year, maybe to get an update on how it's working and what's going on in the classrooms and sure. how it's used. That, that would be fascinating. Sure, and it's a new program, so teachers are currently getting trained on how to use these resources, and so we haven't even really started to implement them. But that would make sense, maybe. I'd love to see what the vision is after and how, how you guys use this third and how it term works in or your classroom. Like and um, I'd love to come visit because it sounds really, really exciting. So um, I would love the opportunity um, to, to visit your classrooms and, and see how this is working. And then if you could come give us an update, that would be amazing at some point. That would be great. That would be wonderful. Thank sure. you. Thank you. Thanks so Thank much. you, Brett. Mm -hmm.